What's up everybody, welcome back to another Moltman episode. Today is going to be a blast. I'm here with uh, Judd and we are gonna do a little pigeon hunting with our Air Force air guns. I got my 25 set up today. This is just like a trial run. Um, got a dairy farm that we're on today and we're gonna be back here a lot. But once we get all of the other precision guns set up that Air Force is gonna let us use, um, it'll be a blast. But today will be a blast too. All we have though is a 25. So we're gonna see what we can get done with a 25. I got my Tacticam, I'm gonna put it on. Um, see if we can get some footage with the Tacticam and uh, see how many pigeons we can get down today. My goal for all of this pigeon hunting, I wanna shoot one banded pigeon. I don't care if it takes me five years, but I wanna shoot a banded pigeon. It'd be so cool. And a white pigeon, a white pigeon. Color face pigeons would be fun to shoot too, so. We're gonna get everything set up and uh, start whacking them. Ready? Yep. Put it right on him. Gah, stoned him. <laughs> Necker, Necker shot. That's a big old bird. Good eating out there. Helping the farmer out, getting a little dinner. All fun. Right over him. All right, one. Alright, the one on the end. Got him. Ready? I saw that one. That one went right over the top of it. Ready?
Ready? So it got dark on us. We were having too much fun uh, shooting these pigeons. I think we ended up with I don't know, seven or eight. We probably shot at a hundred of them. But uh, next time I go, I'm gonna have everything set up. So I'm gonna clean these just like I do a dove. Um, they're a little bit tougher skin uh, right there on the breast, but all you wanna do is split the skin right there on their breast, just like that. And then you can take some shears, cut that wing on both sides just like that and you want to take that breast out just like that and then you want to run your finger down the middle of that breastbone on both sides and then your breast will just peel off of that of that breast plate just like that. So there you have a perfectly good um, pigeon breast. And a lot of people say they're nasty and a lot of people love them, but I think they're good. I think there is a difference between a city pigeon and a pigeon that, this pigeon. Um, these taste just like dove to me. Um, so. so it's pretty simple, not very hard. Um, if you've ever cleaned a dove, then you know how to clean a pigeon. If you've never cleaned a dove, this is how you do it. Um, anybody can do this. If you have pigeons in, in the city you live in or uh, outside the city limits, uh, and you ever get the chance to harvest them, go and do it, and they are delicious. I'm going to clean the rest of these guys up, and uh, I'm going to cook them tomorrow for lunch. So I'll see you out here again tomorrow, and uh, we'll cook some beautiful pigeon breasts up. All right guys, it is the next day and uh, it is lunchtime. We're gonna make pigeon poppers. Um, normally we do this on the grill, but today we're gonna do it in the oven just so we can mix it up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I got some turkey bacon as well. Um, Y'all have seen me do poppers in the past and I, I don't know, we always have turkey bacon here. Um, it's super good for this kind of deal, but I always take my breasts and cut them in half just so they're a little easier to work with um, and you don't have a huge deal my dog's going crazy. So you don't have a huge breast to uh, you know, take a whole piece of bacon to wrap around uh, a whole a whole uh, pigeon breast. So we're just gonna cut them in half real quick. And then we got uh, some cream cheese and some jalapenos. But first, we're gonna dust these breasts off with a little bit of critter glitter, uh, fish and fowl. I'm almost out, I gotta get some more. So 
I'm gonna dust these off pretty light. Um, the cream cheese and the bacon and jalapeno add a lot of flavor to them. So add that on there and then we'll take our uh, take our cream cheese, open this guy up. This is a super simple recipe if y'all ever have dove or pigeon or you can do it with a pheasant. You can do it with any bird um, or for that matter, you can do it with deer and elk and all kinds of stuff. We've got some cream cheese. Take some of this turkey bacon. Now since we cut the breast in half, we should be able to cut this bacon in half. Just like that. Take us a jalapeno. So now we got our jalapeno cleaned out. Take it and oven is hot. Cut some strips out of this jalapeno. Just like that. And a lot of you have been asking me what knife I use. This is my Northern Knives, the Mac. It's multi-use knife. So now we'll take a piece of breast, take a sliver of cream cheese, take a little jalapeno, and we'll take a piece of bacon, wrap it up just like that. Toothpick to finish it off. Right through the middle, onto the pan it goes. And that is a perfect pigeon popper. These are gonna be delicious. Reminds me of dove season, I'm ready for dove season. When deer season ends, I'm ready for turkey season and dove season. So now we'll just repeat this process uh, with about 20 more times and they are ready for the oven. We'll put them on, uh, get them cooked at uh, 350 and then Right at the end, we'll put them on broil, let that bacon really sear up, and then they'll be ready to go. All right, so I cut a few short. Uh, I vacuum sealed the rest of the pigeon breast because I ran out of bacon, and this is just for me and my wife for lunch. So three each, they're big breasts. We're gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven at 350, and uh, we'll just watch them probably 10 minutes, and then put them on broil, crisp that bacon up, and uh, they will be good to go. Okay, so unfortunately my mic died somehow um, whenever I pulled the pigeons out of the oven, but thankfully we did not eat every single one of them. We have one left, so I will do a little more taste test. I'm full off a of pigeon, but they are amazing. I gave it an eight out of 10. Um, this is what it looks like after it is cooked. We'll take a little bite for you guys. Mmm, I'm full, but those are still good. So what I was saying whenever I originally filmed this, um, I overcooked them just a little bit. Of pigeons, uh, duck, you don't wanna cook them all the way through. Uh, you want them to be a little bit medium rare in the middle, just so they don't dry out. These are a little bit dried out, but they're amazing. And what I was saying earlier, is you cannot tell the difference between dove and these pigeons. You might be able to tell the difference between a city pigeon and this pigeon, but um, the only difference that I could tell is that obviously it's a bigger breast, so it feels a little bit different than a pigeon. But the cool thing about uh, hunting with the air guns is you don't have to worry about a big pellet. Biting into a pellet, uh, these pellets just go straight through them. So sorry for the uh, footage on the Tacticam. I didn't have it set up properly. I do now, I've messed with it since and I have it all dialed in. So next time I go, we'll have some really clear uh, quality footage for the Tacticam. And uh, we're definitely gonna do this again. So y'all leave in the comments if y'all wanna see more pigeon hunting and uh, what else y'all would like to see with the Tacticam pigeon hunting. We can go rat hunting. I have a bunch of mice getting into my uh, shop. So I was thinking about doing that with a thermal or something. And then as well as these pigeons, the farmer told me that they roost in this specific barn. So we are going to uh, put a thermal on the air gun and try to go uh, do a little pigeon hunting at night with the thermal. Um, Pulsar is sending me some uh, new equipment right now. So once we get that in, we will be able to go do stuff like that. And uh, try to get some pigeons in the dark. I think that'd be so fun. This was such a fun hunt. Um, it was kind of like a trial run. I didn't know if I was gonna post this video or not, but it ended up turning out 
to be so fun that I wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure y'all go visit my um, merch site, mulletman.net. Link will be in the description. You can get your seasoning, your shirts, hats, hoodies, all that stuff. Until next time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and eat good.